Okay, we have a fun tutorial in this episode, and what we're going to do here is use a combination of HTML and also Photoshop in order to create buttons inside of pictures. And we're going to use something called the image map function. And it's something that's been built into HTML for quite a while, but people have, uh, it, it really hasn't been popular, and I've discovered that it's very helpful in a lot of different situations. So uh, this is actually going to be on a real project that I have, and it's for a sporting goods manufacturer, and they have this large slider, and their designer set out a bunch of images for the slider. And typically, I would usually take an image and then put a button on top of it using uh, CSS and HTML for positioning, but they actually just wanted to send the image. But the problem is, with certain images, like this one for example, you have multiple buttons, and they want the buttons to go to different uh, pages. So they want this to open up the shopping cart and they want this button to go to more info. And HTML actually has a really nice uh, feature that allows you to do that pretty easily. And so we're going to walk through and actually build out this, uh, this whole feature in this video. So I'm going to open up Sublime Text, which is where I'm customizing it all. And I did the first two, just so you could get an idea of what this looks like. And so we have our divs, and we have the image file right here. And then you can see in the image file we have this other parameter called use map, and I'm passing it to hash map3, and then that's connected to this map block. And the map block has a name of map3, so it knows that these coordinates need to be associated on top of this image. And so after that, inside our map block, we're going to have two buttons, and you put them inside a area line. So you have area, you have a shape, which is rect. We also can do circle, and it gives you some, uh, some neat things you can do if you need a circular button, but these are all rectangular. And then coordinates. And so the way the coordinates work is the first coordinate, or the first two coordinates, are the uh, x, y uh, axis for the left top corner. And then the next two are the x, y coordinates for the bottom right corner. So it'll give you the full rectangle. And then you pass in whatever URL you want for that item. And so the very first thing we're going to do. We're going to use these two as a model because I already started building this and um, then I thought that it'd be something other people would find useful so instead of just finishing it I wanted to uh, record while I was doing it. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. So now we have this. We're on to slider 5 and we'll be able to just uh, we'll be able to eventually just get rid of these uh, this a block because we're gonna pass that into the area tag and but we're gonna wanna keep this URL so I'm not gonna get rid of this quite yet um, but I will take this stick on top just so we can build it out easier and now we wanna put in use map equals and this is going to be hash <laughs> Sorry, we're not in Rails. Uh, map 5, and there we go. Okay, so we have our map 5, and I'm just going to copy this map. Okay, so we have our map block here, and that all looks good. Now we're actually going to go into Photoshop, because Photoshop is by far the, uh, the best for this kind of thing. So we're going to have our coordinates, and it's for the slider 5 image. So let me open up Photoshop, and slider 3 is good. Here is slider 5. So this is a good one to look at, because we have two buttons, and we have an Order Now button and a More Info button. So to, and we already know what this link is, so we'll have to go to the site to get this more info one. Um, let's see, okay, the best thing to do, or the only thing to do, is to go up to Window, and then go down 
all the way to info. Okay, and it's going to pop up this info box. Now, as you start moving your cursor, you may notice that these items are all changing. And I can't uh, actually point at them because then it goes off the screen. So as you move, these items all change dynamically. One very important thing, uh, and when I first learned to do this, it screwed me up because I, by default, Photoshop has this on inches. And so if you go and try to grab these items, uh, HTML is going to get a little bit uh, confused because it's going to look like you're trying to put something on, you know, 12 pixels because that's all it really thinks in is pixels, not inches. So make sure you change that to pixels. And so for this first button, uh, the top left is 868. 353. And so if we switch back to the code, we have 868353, which is pretty much the same one that we already have here. So it looks like this button's actually going to be in the exact same spot as the one above it. So we don't even have to do anything except change the URL. And so in order to change that URL, I'm going, uh, oh, sorry, we actually already have that one. So that's nice and easy. So just going to cut this. So the buy now button is going to be there. So we can get rid of that, keep our good indentation. OK, now on to the next one. Uh, we'll see where this position's at. This is the more info button. OK, so for more info, look and let me actually pull this up a little bit closer so that you can see it all on one screen. OK, so. Top left hand corner is 902.592. Okay, so it's 902.592. And for the bottom right hand corner, we're looking at, we don't need layers, so uh, bottom right hand corner, we're looking at 1010.612. And then we have 1010. Okay, so that just means on both of these, the y-axis actually remain the same. So that's all good. So uh, we're now done with, um, oh, sorry, we're not quite done. We need to change this URL so this fits. The client would not be happy about that if it went to the wrong page. Uh, okay, this is supposed to go, this product is the Pro XXL. So we need to go to the Pro XXL page. So go to hitting systems and there we go. OK, so we're just going to want to grab this image. And I'm using uh, the absolute path instead of the relative path uh, just because uh, the different the e-commerce platform they're using is Volusion and their paths are a little bit tricky if you see right here you have a different whole different one to grab assets and so I like if you use Volusion you'll probably feel the same way um, so that's why I grabbed the the full absolute URL okay so now we're on to the next one we're on to slider 6 and we'll see if that one has multiple buttons so we can close out 5 slider 6 yes it does and so the first button We'll see if that's in the same spot or not. So for the first button, we're looking at that being 868, 355, and yes, so that's in the same area. So that means that when we come down here and add our map, that we're gonna be able to keep the first one. We're just gonna have to change the URL. So grab this URL and paste it in. Okay. And oh, one very important thing, this would not work. You need to make sure you're putting in use map and this one is going to be map six, I believe, yes. Oh, and I almost made a very bad mistake. I didn't update the names. You have to make sure you're updating the names for each one of these or else it's not going to work. So we have map 4, map 3, map 3. Okay, so that's all working. And now we're going to go down and we're going to look at this button because I'm pretty sure the coordinates on 6 
are going to be different than the coordinates were on 5. So uh, top left hand corner of this more info button is 645, 593, 645. and then the the y coordinate stayed the same so yeah that was right and now the bottom right hand side we're looking at 750 and 614 okay so that's good and now let's check out the product and this one is the pro traveler so let's go and grab a pro traveler page there we go Grab the URL. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. So now we have seven. So let's see. I'm not sure if seven has two buttons or not. Yes, it does. Okay. It's eight. Oh, no. All of them have two buttons. Interesting. Okay. Uh, nine doesn't, so we can skip nine. But seven and eight, we're going to have to do that. So let's see if how this one is. Looks like... 868, 354. Yes, so it looks like the designer kept the buttons in the same area there, which is nice for us. It saves us a lot of time. So let's put in this and oh, make sure you get rid of the ending A blocks, or else that's going to throw some weird errors or could throw off the CSS. Um, okay, so now we have to make sure that we're changing this to seven and then do use map here. Okay, there we go. And change that to seven. Okay, that looks good. And I'll grab this URL, cut that, and we know that this is going to be the right fit for this one. Okay. And some of these URLs are the same because they're using the same product. So if you're seeing duplicates, like you may notice, this is actually a duplicate of that other one, and it's because it's essentially it's the same item. So we got that, the maps. Okay, now let's go into that more info button side. Top left hand side, we're looking at 614. That one's a little bit closer. And then we're at 592 or 593. Uh, these are, some of these are kind of guesstimates, so it's important to kind of have an idea of that. Uh, bottom right hand side, 724. Okay. So 724, and then we just need to, oh, and this product's going to be the same, so the URL's going to be the same, so that's nice and easy. Okay, so now we have 8, and let's first grab our use map here. Okay, and make sure you swap that out with 8, come up to map. Okay, so we have map eight. Okay, so we're all good there. And now we're gonna come and take a look and see what eight is. See if it's in the same position for us. Okay, 866, 357. So everything's good here. This is all gonna stay the same. Uh, we're just gonna have to grab the URL. And this one is different. So we'll cut that out. Paste it in. I want to get rid of the right thing. Okay, perfect. And last but not least, we just need this bottom one. Okay, so we have 784, 590. And then on the right hand side, we're looking at 894. And we just, last thing, we just have to get this product. And this product is called the zone in. So we'll come in over here. And if I remember correctly, this is actually going to be 
a different product. Let's see. There we go. It's under the new products category, and it's this one. Grab this URL, paste it in. Okay, perfect, and we're done. So now all that we have to do is uh, copy this code and upload it into the live site. So I'm going to log into Volusion. And so this is kind of a three part tutorial almost. We are using. Uh, we're, we're using Volusion, we're using Photoshop, and we're using pure HTML. So uh, you'll be able to learn quite a bit about all three of those things if you're building a HTML uh, driven type e-commerce site. So you, if, you're, if you've never used Volusion, you just come up there and then hit edit. They kind of have something that's kind of like a WYSIWYG type editor and it's uh, it's actually kind of frustrating to use i prefer regular html but uh, it's what the client had so that's what we use okay so it starts at slideshow so i'm going to take everything here and i'm going to delete up to this div right here make sure that's all lined up yes so delete and then hit paste and this should have all of our new values so hit save and I'm gonna bring it up. And one good thing, if you use Chrome, I like to use the incognito window quite a bit because it allows you to uh, uh, it allows you to actually do some pretty neat things and allows you to you know clear out the cache and do that kind of thing. Okay, so here we go. So if you notice, that button works. This one works right here too. So you can see the hover over. If I want to click more info, it takes us to that spot. I'll go back to the home page. This one always worked because this one was just the image. And I'm going to test one of the other ones. This one was one of the original ones, so I'll wait till slide five and we'll make sure that that's working. So, this one's still working. Perfect. So, and you can notice, you see that the it's not until I hover over these buttons that they actually start to look like buttons. So, these all look like they're working perfect. And after this video, I'll go through and do a full test where I actually click each one to make sure they're going to the right area. And I also have some CSS to clean up because you can see that right up here, uh, the block is actually too big. So I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to kind of shrink that a little bit. So it's all working. So if you went through that tutorial, congratulations. You now know how to use the uh, image mapping function inside of uh, HTML and it's very easy to recap you put the use map attribute and you associate it with a unique map ID and then you create a mapping block and inside of it you give it a name that is associated with what you sent in the use map make sure it always use a hash if you don't use a hash in front of it it won't get called and then you just say everything you want on that image that you want to be clickable and where you want it to go. You can give it all the coordinates and if it's a rectangle or a circle. So if you went through that, congratulations. You know, now know how to do it. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever in the comment section.